Good evening, people. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to our last class. Today we're going to finish this module. So we did it. Let's give a couple of minutes to see if more students join us. Okay. Well, it is time, okay? Seems that Fridays are difficult for some of you, but anyways, we have to talk. We share the screen. Tonight, we are going to finish with the last lesson. Well, actually, we'll try to complete the lesson, but I'm not sure we'll do it, but anyway. Look at this story, some stories of honesty. Here we have some stories of honesty. Let me ask to uh let's Maybe, could you read the first story? Maybe this one. Okay. Taxi drivers returns Brazilian soccer players World Cup gold medal and $60,000 is rewarded with uh, $1,000 and souvenirs. Okay. Wow. A World Cup gold medal and sixty thousand dollars. Hey, a lot of money. He found in his tax. Hmm, interesting. Let's see the second one. This one, let me ask to Marina. Can you read this one, Marina? Yes, teacher. Businessman tracks down owner of seventy fifty thousand dollars and is tanked only with a phone call. My God, that's terrible. Imagine you returned seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and all they do is say thank you over the phone. But it's stingy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
Okay, next one. Natalie, could you read the next story, please? Okay, teacher. A student turns detective to find owner of a lost cash, credit cards, airline tickets, and jewelry. I'm an honest man. The student tells relief owner. Oh, okay. There's no reward here, apparently. But he mm -hmm. turned a detective to find the owner of cash, credit cards, airline tickets, and jewelry. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and Vanessa, can you read the last one, please? Come let mom and click click director lot what for for hundred dollar check to our next sales family move in the house or they their own. Okay, well, for a hundred dollars for a homeless mom and three kids, hmm, it could have been a lot of money, no? But she decided to return them or return the check. Nice that the owner helped her family to move into a house. Very good. Interesting. So, what would you do in this situation? Hmm. People who return lost things sometimes get a reward. Is that the meaning of the saying, honesty pays? Have you ever found anything valuable? What did you do? Interesting question. Okay, just think about them. I uh, almost confess this. <laughs> What, what I would do, but the last, the last week, when was it actually? Yeah, the last week, I called a, a taxi, and when the taxi came, there was a cell phone uh, on the back seat. Oh, what do you think I did? Yeah, that's right. I gave it to the driver. Uh, but actually, I, I, no, I waited for a moment to get a, get the call of the owner, you know, because I thought I better keep it and give it to the owner directly. I don't know the taxi driver. He might keep it for him and I want to make sure, I wanted to make sure that the owner uh, would receive the cell phone back. But when I answered the call, he asked me to give the cell phone to the driver, no? Because he knew where he dropped him a few minutes before. So that's what I did. I returned the. <laughs> the cell phone to the taxi driver. And, but the, the funny thing is that the, the guy who called told me, hey, tell the driver that is the guy who just dropped off at the, at the motel. <laughs> but that was funny. I said, oh, poor guy. He's not going to enjoy it. <laughs> He lost the mood completely. Completely <laughs> lost the mood. He was interested in other thing, but no, in, <laughs> in his cell phone. <laughs> yeah, but at that, at that moment, he, he was worried for the cell phone. Huh? <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look to this conversation quickly, but first, as Always tell me, what do you see in the photo here? What do you see in the picture? A couple. Couple, 
Okay. How about uh, reading the newspaper with the news of the seventy seventy fifty thousand dollars return of okay. Okay, just let me help you with that number. It's seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Because when we talk about money, we read the complete uh, year. Yeah, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, yeah, they are talking about that. But look at the woman. What was she thinking? She won a lot of money in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's read the conversation to find out her thought. Okay. Let me record the conversation first. Read it and record it. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding? If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and drive my luck in the casino. I could double the money in a day and give $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you got a point there. Okay. Let me read it one more time. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day. And you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Temptation, right? $750,000. Big temptation. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. Look, Look at this. this. Some, Some guy, guy found $750,000. He returned it and the, and the owner, owner thanked him with a phone, phone call. call. You're kidding. I found $750,000. I wouldn't return it so far. You're kidding. You're kidding. I found $750,000. I wouldn't return it so far. Why? What would you do? Why? Why? What, would you what would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. Well, well I could go I straight, straight to the Vegas Vegas and try my luck in the casino. casino. I could double, I could the, double money the money in a day, day and, and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day. And then you could go to jail. You might you as well lose it all in a day. And then you could go to jail. You could go to jail. Go to jail. Go to jail. Yeah. Hmm. You've got a point there. Hmm. You mm, got a point you've there. Got a point there. Mm -hmm. You got a point there. Okay. Now I am Lou and you are Kate. Okay. 
Okay. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding? If yeah. I found $750,000, I wouldn't dollar, return it so fast. So fast. Hi, what would you do? Well, well I go to Hercules Vegas yeah. and try my luck in the casino. Yeah. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you mm. got to find you out. Got out. There. Okay. Now, you are Lou and I am Kate. You begin. One, two, three. Look at Look this. At Some, Some guy, guy found $750,000 to return it and the owner thank him with a phone call. Okay. You're kidding. I found $750,000. I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casino. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also hey, lose it in so a day. Okay. And then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay. Any question with the conversation? No, teacher. No. Okay. Okay, just let me... Uh, call your attention to this phrase. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Well, what would you do? Well, I'd go to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000. You might also lose it all in a day and then you could go to jail. You've got a point there, okay. Just one question. Teacher, I have a question. Sorry? I have a question. Okay, tell me. And the second paragraph, uh, when you point with the green, mm -hmm. uh, after uh, the set the probability, I'll go straight to Las Vegas and try my look. Uh, we can only use could or we can use might. I might double the money. Yeah, you can. You could use might. Yeah. A okay. possibility. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I was I was asking you uh, if this is this situation real. Or unreal. She says, if I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Unreal. This is an unreal situation, right? An imaginary situation. And all these uh, possible results are also imaginary. Okay, unreal. Right? So, this is what we call unreal conditional sentence. Because the situations are not real, are unreal. The condition, if I found, that is a condition, and the results, the 
possible results are also unreal. This is what we call unreal conditional sentence. We use un unreal conditional sentences to describe imaginary situations and consequences in the present. Okay? What would you do if you found $750,000? It's an imaginary situation in the present. If I found $750,000, an imaginary situation. But we use the simple past with the main verb to describe imaginary situation. If I found $750,000, if I uh, went to Europe, if I have a car, if I won the lottery, imaginary situation. Okay, and the consequences, we can just use uh, the models would, might, or could to describe the imaginary consequences. So both this, the condition and the consequence or the result are unreal. Both are imaginary. Okay, so in the imaginary clause, because this is the con situation or condition clause, and this is the result or consequent clause, okay, um, we use wouldn't, my, would or wouldn't, you see here is would, I would, I wouldn't return it so fast. I might go to Las Vegas. I could double it in a casino. I would, for the contraction, I'd go straight to the police. This is the form for imaginary or unreal conditional sentences with if, if clauses. The clauses are the condition or the situation. Any question here? No, teacher. Okay. There's no question. Let's try to work on this exercise. We have here the imaginary conditions. If I found a burglar in my home, if I saw someone shoplifting, if I found $75,000 on the street, if the teacher gave me an A on a test by mistake, if I locked myself out of my house, if I won a million dollars in a lottery, we have here the imaginary consequences or result. We have to match the condition with the content. Okay? Observe that more than one answer may be possible. So, no problem with that. So, I'll give you five minutes to match the conditions with the consequences. And then I'll send you to check it with your class. Okay, let me share this in WhatsApp. And then when you finish, you can raise your hand, please, to let me know that you're done. Okay. There you have it in WhatsApp already.
Don't forget to raise your hand when you feel. Okay, let's see. Number one. Uh, let's do this. Write in the chat your answer. Let's see how many think the same. And I will... If I found a burglar in my home, Okay, Marina says D. The others? D. Only two? Come on, people, right. 
I run to my neighbor for help. Oh, another. It is, it is possible. D. Okay. As they say, more than one answer may be possible. So, no problem. Okay, let's write D or G. Any other option? No. Okay. Number two, if I saw someone shoplifting, what would you do? What would I do if I saw someone shoplifting? Tell me. F or D. Okay. Tell me. Else, Claire, I don't complete. Okay, so is that F or B? Oh. I'm going to tell us, Claire. I think F is four. Uh, likely to this one. Okay, number three. If I found $70,000 on the street, if I found $70,000 on the street, Natalie says, And it <laughs> okay. So we have D. Uh, also C is possible. <laughs> D D. Okay. If the teacher gave me an A on a test, on a test by mistake, D. Ah. Says Marina too. Okay, that's the. Okay, let's give it in C. If I locked myself out of my house. Okay, break a window. H. Okay. Yeah, A or H or G. If I won a million dollars in a lottery. B. Okay, very good. 
Very good. Now look at these pretty commands. What do you think you would do or might do in this situation? You found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park. That is one situation. Or uh, you were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards. Terrible. You saw two people fighting in the street. You discovered your friend has a drinking problem. Someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach. A friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. Okay, the question is, so you can practice asking questions in this way. What would you do if you use the, the situation here? And the other response, I'm not sure. I think I'd, I'd do this so that there is where you are going to use your, your imagination your creativity to respond. So I'll give you time to practice or to work in group on this exercise, okay? Let me see how many groups can, I guess just two groups. Okay, join the breakout rooms, please and practice with that exercise. I'll send it to WhatsApp right now. There you are.
Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, maybe what would you do if you found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park? What would you do, maybe? Okay, um, I might uh stay in a park for a while, uh, or um. I could keep it also. <laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> okay, good. After a certain time. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Could you ask the second situation to Marina, please, maybe? Okay, Marina. Hello. What? If you were on vacation overseas and lose all your money and credit cards. I may, um, if I lose my credit card, uh, in my credit cards, I may to call to the bank and suspend that credit card. And another, I feel I may make me crazy <laughs> if I lose my money, you know. Okay. Terri yeah. Terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Especially. Uh, Imagine if I have to pay bills right. now or loan. <laughs> no, it's so crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay, Morena, could you ask next situation to, Mar to Marina? Yes, of course. Marina, are you there? Marina? Yes, I am here. Okay, what would you do if you saw two people fighting in the street? Okay, um, probably I called the police, and but I, I wouldn't try to, to stop the fight. Ah, okay. Yes, good recommend. Uh, yes, me good. too. <laughs> okay, Marina, as the situation or to Natalie. Okay. Natalie, what would you do if you discovered your friend has a drinking problem? Well, at first I might talk to him and ask him what if if he feels or know that it's a problem and he don't accept it, I maybe could talk with his family or her family to get more help. Okay, good. Okay, Natalie, uh, next, next, next situation to Sandra. Sandra, what will you do if someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach? Sorry, sorry. Entré tarde a la clase. Y he comprendido poco el tema. Okay. The question is, what would you do if someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach? Do you understand the question? Or no? No, teacher. Okay, no problem. Let's ask Vanessa then. Vanessa, what would you do if someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach? Probably I, I call the police. Okay, yeah. Very good. Okay, people. It's nine o'clock. We have to stop here. I really appreciate um being with you this module i hope you keep uh, studying keep working and getting to the end of this first okay 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you for you. your attention yes. and for your My time. Pleasure. Okay. Thank Have you. Nice, nice to meet you, teacher. Nice thank you, bye -bye. teacher. Thank you because you were very patient with us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, bro. Bye. 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 Take care, people. Nice to meet you. Take care.